Yeah, so, so I'm gonna show a prep yeah, and then you go back to that. So brand new fresh stopcock, brand new syringe. Gonna go full pull. I try to wait just a little bit, but you wanna make sure they're dry. No air, no chance of air getting in. We're gonna do two of these. This and is then, very hard to get contrast down to the stingray balloons. This is how they came up with this idea of getting it to actually suck contrast into the balloon. And then we're going to put, we're going to, ma again, make sure there's no air in the stopcock. So we're going to get everything set up. And you can, can you see me, Bob? We can. All right, so we're going to drop, and it'll drop 0.3. Now, we used to just turn it off and load it. What we do now is leave it on while we bring it in. And it actually will entrain about another 0.1 or 0.2. It's good. You want to focus on the balloon before we and put it And there's just in? the two dots you're going to see. And there's an exit port proximal and in between the two dots. But by leaving it like this, where we leave it open and let it keep sucking contrast in, Bill, I don't know if you've been doing that, but the preps have been a million times better. I've not, so it's good to see. Yeah, so just just, just leave it open with the contrast like that until you get it near, and then you can turn it off. But if you sit there and wait another minute or two, it'll actually, you'll watch it take another 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 in, and that really makes a difference in the preps. I've been you know, really, really happy just because if you can see the lines, right, it's a million times easier that we did technically do what the balloon says, which is we came out. Everybody see that? So you yeah. can see that's that's the, the line, in, and that's that's two skis, one Let's ski. Inflate this end of the body, too. Two, to show them. one. 